Welcome to EF Pod English. Brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Pre Intermediate 38. Career Advice. Yes, so you're here to get some career advice. Okay, good. Um, I just need to ask you a few questions. Um, basically, I mean, what, what do you enjoy doing? Hmm. Well, I enjoy... Good question. In this lesson, we're going to see how the career advisor gives Robert advice. We'll learn phrases like, why don't you... Why don't you look for a new job? And perhaps you could... Perhaps you could train as an accountant. And you need to... You need to be part of a team. Uh-huh, I see. Right, OK. So do you prefer working alone? I don't know what I enjoy. That's why I'm asking you. Uh -huh, I mean, I, I need some advice. I mean, I like... I like working alone. Right. I like working with, you know, technology, like computers and being uh -huh, sort of... I see. You know... What about um, maybe accounting? Let's get started. Well, let's look at some of your personal qualities. What kind of person are you? Are you patient? Do you like working with people? Do you prefer to work alone? Well, yes, I like working with people, but sometimes I think I work better when I'm alone. You know, I get more done that way. I see. Well, if you don't mind doing more training, why don't you consider a career in banking or finance? Well, I have a good head for business, but I'm not very creative. I think I tend to be more analytical. Well, that's good in business. Perhaps you could go into a business career. What kind of career, specifically? Perhaps you need a job that's a little more structured. Maybe accounting. Yes, accounting. I had actually thought of that. Are there many opportunities, do you think? Oh, yes, certainly. You need to be part of a team, but you also need to be able to work alone. You said you liked that. Yes, that's right. It's hard work. That's fine. And is it paid well? Absolutely. Are you interested? Yes, definitely. I think from talking to you, I think you'd be better working as part of a team. But of course, everybody has to work alone sometimes. No, no, no. I, I didn't say that. Are you good I with numbers? I mean, I want a job where, uh, you I know, see. like... Right. Are you even listening to me? I, I can't... No, see? <sighs> well, well, it sounds like Robert is quite keen on accounting. Let's listen again to some of the advice from the career advisor. Why don't you consider a career in banking or finance? He suggests Robert consider a career in banking or finance. Why don't you consider a career in banking and finance? We often use this phrase, why don't you, when we are giving advice, we often use this phrase, why don't you is followed by a verb. Have you thought about a career in banking or finance? I don't even have the education for this. My car is always breaking down. Why don't you buy a new car? I need a holiday. Why don't you go to Barbados for two weeks? Let's look at another way of giving advice. Perhaps you could go into a business career. Perhaps you could go into a business career. Perhaps you could... This is a polite way of giving advice. Perhaps is another way of saying maybe. Let's see some more advice. You need to be part of a team, but you also need to be able to work alone. You need to be part of a team, but you also need to be able to work alone. You need to. This is the same as saying it is necessary to do something. 
If you say you need to do something, it's much stronger than perhaps you could. And why don't you? What salary bracket are you looking for? Yeah, well, that's the thing. See, see, Jack, do you mind if I call you Jack? I need to make a lot more money. And apparently, you know, I made some bad choices and, you know, I went to the wrong school and then I dropped out. But aside from that, you know, I have experience and experience is worth money. It's worth compensation. I need compensation. I need to increase my salary by twofold at least. Well done. Now it's your turn to try giving some advice. Use the word prompts on the screen to make a suggestion. If you like studying, why don't you consider going to university? Try to make a polite suggestion with these words. Perhaps you could work in a bank. Use you need to to give this piece of advice. You need to apply for university before December. Right, OK. So what about in five years? Where do you see yourself? Now, if I knew where I would be in five years, why would I be here asking you where I'm going to be in five years? I mean, I need some advice here. This is right. You are the career advisor. What do you, where do you see me in five years? Well done. Now you have lots of good phrases for giving advice. We've learnt how to use why don't you. Why don't you watch the movie again? We've also learnt how to use perhaps you could. Perhaps you could train as a teacher. And you need to. You need to check your CV. Well, it's time for me to go now. Why don't I look through some of my contacts and see what we've got on file and um, we'll get back to you. Thank you.